Now she's a TV legend and a true British icon. Taking to the stage at just 12 years old, Barbara Windsor was hit with the performing bug, and luckily for us, she hasn't stopped since. Good morning, Dr. Sofa. Are we all loaded? No, no. How about those two things sticking out in front? Yeah, how about this? <laughs> So uh, Barbara is uh, is with us now, and uh, and you were just saying yeah. then that um, that you actually haven't really done no, much no, since no. the last time you sat That's here. That's right. I, I I did I did one of those televisions with Chris Moyle, you know, just because he's a laugh and a giggle, you see. But no, I was waiting for the right thing to come along because Peggy, she's a she's a hard act to follow yeah. and EastEnders, mm -hmm. and uh, and I was so lucky with that, and this came along, Little Crackers, and I'd seen it. Last year on yeah. Sky, and it got nominated for BAFTAs. I think that was uh, uh, there was Stephen Fry Catherine and Tate, Catherine Tate. Yeah, Dawn yeah. French did well. And uh, I saw it, and there were only ten minutes. So even if you start to look at things, mm. mm, don't think much. So we'll, yes, we'll explain what it is. It's the it's the those pivotal moments of, of your life. life. Yes, you can yes. choose whatever it yes, happens to be. Yes, last year it was about Christmas. Yeah. This year it's my first. Yes. So when they asked me to do my first, of course the ego went. Ah! <laughs> oh yes, the first time I stopped the show, you know, it was a bit like that. What, well, it I was think. all about showbiz I know, and how I get Broadway and all that, you know. But they said, no, no, we wanted uh, something when you were younger, you see. So how do you choose? Well, we, I looked at a time in my life which, which had, a, we had show business in, but also my first bra, my first bras it. it was, I know it sounds daft, and you see those and you think, how could she be worried about that? But I was. I was four foot ten and a half, size two shoes. Oh. And I had these knockers, you know, and I hated it. I hated it. But at the same time, I was playing. I was. I got a job in thing, uh, in um, Love from Judy, mm -hmm. and it was a big West End show, and it, stuck, it went for two and a half years. So, and you had to be 15 because they didn't want to pay for chaperones. Yeah. But you had to look 10. Uh -huh. See, I played it at law firm with the Platts and like that. You see. So I went into this show, and there was other eight, eight other orphans, and they all grew up that way, and they got the sack. But I stayed. I stayed, you see. But I imagine uh, yes. you'd gone and, out and that sadly, way, however. And sadly, you had terrible wardrobe mistresses in those. It's not like it is now, yeah. you see. And they used to scream and shout and look at yourself. Have you got that on? Have you got it? Don't sit in your costume. Up and all that used to go. And it used to be awful. <laughs> got the same eye makeup on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, it was so strict. And they, they bounced yeah. down, didn't so they? And so they did. Like this, oh, God, it was, it was awful. And Leslie Joseph, I said, there's only one person can play that wardrobe mistress. It's Leslie Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> she don't care, and she did exactly what I asked her to. Yeah. The fag in the mouth, you know. Oi, Barbara Deeks, which is my real name. Oi, come here. And she looks at me and says, those two things. You're meant to be playing a, f a ten year old, not at the Moulin Rouge. <laughs> <laughs> so she butts me all that, and that's exactly what happened to me. So, and for at eight, what age are you now? I was when you're doing 50, that? I'm just getting on for 16, because oh, the show okay. ran for two and a half years, yes. you see. So, I, and I, I, had, I was very you know, conscious about it. Well, you would be. Yeah, if yeah. Like and that, and so, yeah. that, and uh, for the 18 months, I had this great lump of elastic around me, you oh. see. And then when I came out the show, my mother, who was. This, this cockney snob I've told you about before. She said, <laughs> now, Babs, we're going to have the best bra for you, the best brassier. So it's a whole thing to get a brassier, at the at young girl's first yeah, brassier. Yeah, yeah. It isn't like that now. They're wearing them at 10, aren't they? You mm -hmm. know. So we went to Bournes and Hollingsworth, because that had to be it, Bournes and Hollingsworth. And, of course, I, I went in to get this bra, but it had to be a burly, because they're the best Babs. They're the best. They're the best <laughs> and, that, and that was it. And, but I... And then when I put them on, and I, my first experience in the street, walking down the street, the first thing I ever heard was, Ah, oh, darling, you see your feet lately. I wouldn't like them on me face for a walk. All <gasps> things like that. And I hated it. And I got my oh, which Barbara. makes me laugh. Now, to the carry on. The, well, how interesting, though, of all the things oh, that have happened in your life, that was the, that was a defining moment. Yeah, I, yes, I know. It, and so you've strange. executive produced this, and as you said, yes. it's a series of, of ten-minute yes, films. Yes, there are. There's me. There's Johnny Vegas. There's Jane Horrocks, and they're, they're wonderful. They just, as I say, ten minutes, and uh, and I, I'm very, very thrilled to read. My, I, I feel mine. It, I, I saw it last week, and it's very real. Yeah. And I've shed a few tears. I was going to say because it must be quite. Emotional. 
question because you've got you've got Sally Hawkins. Oh to my your God, mom. Sally Neil Hawkins, Jack award winner. You know, I mean, yeah, and lovely Neil Jackson. Yeah, from, he plays um, your father. Upstairs, downstairs. Yeah. When I first saw him, when he opened his mouth and said, "Hello, Babs, who are you today? Veronica Lake or Betty Grable?" Because I used to want to be one or the other. Yeah. I, I, I just. That's just when I sat oh, yeah, and watched them, yeah. And she playing my mother, she's got a right to see that snobbish. Well, we saw a little tiny yes. uh, clip, we'll have a proper clip in yes, a second, but, yes. uh, but we had a, um, a little tiny clip of you uh, in a cameo. You, I you, know, you, well, you, I didn't want to do that, but they want you to do it, don't they? I just wanted to narrate it and executive produce and cast it and things like that. Mm. I didn't want to, you know. Well, oh, I'm you glad I did. Now. I'm glad yeah, you I'll did. Bet you are. Let's yeah, have a, let's yes, have a look. Yes. Don't be scared. I've had famous people in here, you know. OK. Oh, I couldn't possibly say. But um, let's just say Princess Margaret no longer walks with a hunch. <laughs> Everyone says mana too big. Yeah, uh, oh. <laughs> uh, you know something, young lady, I've got a feeling that that bosom of yours will be the making of you. <laughs> now, prepare to be transformed. And how much of it is is the is the uh, that was, that that's, was, oh, that's yeah, what she said. True, that's yeah. what happened. Well, I was there, wasn't I? You know, I mean that lovely Sam. She had uh, little Samantha. Yes. Why she didn't have any experience. The girls I auditioned were very had a, this preconceived idea about me. Obviously, you know, it was too much, too much. And I'm not actually. Yeah. My, mm. When I well, work, I am. But in real life, I, I'm I'm not so much. And um, she got it just right. Yeah. And she got very emotional when she played it as well. She was a bit too tall, but that didn't matter. It was very difficult to get a four foot ten and a half blonde, you know, with the knob and the, the touch size <laughs> two shoes. They don't come. They, 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 they broke them all. They're not really well, made. said you were unique. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. And, and so she, and she got me. And, and I was, no, I, I, the whole thing is absolutely delightful. Well, that it's is um, Barbara's yeah. Little Cracker. It's Sunday, yes. 9, on mm. Sky One HD. Beautifully made. They are lovely. Well, and as they you say, are BAFTA, lovely. Uh, 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 BAFTA, yeah, 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 yes, yes. Um, and, and a great list of people. Alan yeah. Davis, Sanjeev Baskar, uh, John Bishop, Shapi Kosandi, Harry Hill have all done yeah. these 10 minute films. Yeah, um, we, we, we must talk a little bit about Eastender because you mentioned it at the beginning. Yes, of the, of the yeah, yeah. And now, uh, so following you out of oh, the square. Oh, I can't bear it. Pam. Pam St. Clement. And she will be so sorely miss more than I was miss in the show because she could go to anybody it, you know any family she could go to well, she still has so many ties exactly in this and I'm, I am I devastated well you're mates aren't you so yes so we are and, and we can go to dinner and go to the theatre so have together. you said to her what are you playing her? no well she she would just she wanted to leave but I don't know if she wanted to be killed off. Yeah. See, that's a, that, that's the chance you have to take. Yes. Right. I was positive I was going to go up in a, a load of flames with the Vic. I mean, you're going, ah, my queen Vic. I, I thought that was going to happen, but of course it didn't. Yeah, but thank Pam, you. I was very, very surprised because she could always go always back. Always come back. But, you know, but she's accepted it now and um, she'll would, have a new life. Would you go back? I mean, obviously uh, not I, now, I, I, but I do don't you think a... so. I, I, I don't think so, no. You can't say that. You, well, you, you mustn't say no. I yes. love the show very, mm. very much. I and mean, when I was 16 years was the best thing ever. Mm. I loved it and I thanked them from the bottom of my heart. Yeah. But I, I don't know. Well, it's it a getting... different pub now as well, isn't it? Oh, yes. You wouldn't yeah. recognise the pub. I don't think would, I, would, would Peggy I, approve? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I could work that pub. Yeah, no, no. There were things that hush my mouth. You mustn't say anything, Barbara. But you know. <laughs> but no. What would what would it, not Barbara? But what would Peggy say of the pub? That, um, I'd I'd like to see more interaction with. The, 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 the essays, you know, all, all the regulars and hello, Charlie, oh, da, 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 and the milkman come in, Michael, oh, hello, hello, you know, get, you know, all that kind of thing. Yeah. I, I miss that. I used to do all that. Yes. You know. I learned everybody's name. And What about, um, because there are all sorts of uh, rumours in the papers, there are a list of people who are going to be on the panel of Britain's Got Talent when it I comes know. back. I know. I and saw Amanda last night. So she, oh, you as well? I said, yeah, you as well. Know nothing about it. You know, it is funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just. And, and, and my, my lovely girlfriend, uh, Samantha Wormack, she, yeah. her name's up. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's going to be know. quite a long panel if everyone I think gets so. together, isn't think it? So. <laughs> but I don't think I'm Dolly enough for that. I think he likes the Dolly birds, doesn't he, Simon? You know, no, but, he for you sure. know, but I know, yeah. Well, he's got Louie. Oh, no. <laughs> I was with him last night. <laughs> we went to see a great show last night. Yeah, what did yeah, you go and yeah. see? We went to see Michael McIntyre. Uh, yes, right. yes, yeah. That's right. where so everyone tweeted. That talent is amazing. He's brilliant. He's amazing. Yeah. And I have to say something. You've got Russell on the programme today. He predicted 18, 17 years ago that I was going to do a soap. Did he? On his television pro, honestly, crossed my heart. And I couldn't get arrested then. It was when work wasn't so good. I was going around the 
uh, Great Britain doing my act, yeah. you know, and they'd always said no to me, he said, always said no. Really? And I went up to this little programme, we used to do a little programme up in Manchester, and he suddenly looked, he, looked, he said, right, he said, you know, something is going to happen to you. Don't you He's, give uh, up. We've got him in the, yeah, yeah. the hub today. Can yeah. you hear, did you hear that, Russell? Yeah, I just heard that, Isn't Phil. that true, darling? It's true, darling. We were, we were doing yeah. up at Granada, the Russell Grant All Stars show. Yeah. So we only had All Stars on there, so that was you yeah. and me. Yeah. Don't think we could get anyone else. <laughs> and, uh, no, Michael Ball came. Um, and oh, Zsa Zsa Gabor was on it. Yeah, there were stars. They were all on it. Anyway, yeah. you were there, and we did the old stars and yeah. cards then. And um, I saw in those cards that you were going to be in a long-running series, and yeah. I said, it's going to be a soap, but I don't know what it I is. Thought wow. was, wow. I thought, there you bless go. him, I thought he was just trying to be lovely. Yeah. And he was spot yeah. yeah, yeah, I just thought he was being yeah, kind. You looked at yeah. me as though I was balmy. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you so, so much. Oh, and you, it's you. always lovely, lovely Have a wonderful with you. Christmas. Have a great Christmas. Yeah. Family OK? Yeah. Right? yeah. Your family OK? OK. Great. great. Yeah. We love watching you. Thank you. As we said, we'll remind you once more, just in case, you missed it. It's Barbara's Little Cracker and it's Sunday at 9 on Sky One HD. Definitely worth a watch. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, darling. Thank uh, you. We have the best festive fizz oh, right after the break. Lovely. <laughs>